right now we're going to start it off talking about a complete fucking idiot. A complete asshole. No, I'm not talking about you, Mr. Pinter. <laughs> I, I thought that's where I was breathe. going. <laughs> we're not talking about you. We're talking about a guy named Logan Paul. Now, I'm sure Invisible Katana, being that he's internet literate, mm-hmm. knows who Logan Paul is. But I want to yeah. take this time to ask if Mr. Fantastic knows who this guy is. You ever heard of this guy? Mm-mm. Logan, Logan Paul. Paul and Jake give us, Paul. Give us the rundown, Invisible Katana. So, Logan Paul and Jake Paul are brothers. They are early 20s, uh, huge YouTubers. Um, as far as I know, because I don't watch their stuff, they're basically known as kind of the young douchebags. Right. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Recently, as of, I think it was on New Year's Day, uh, Logan Paul did a video where he was in uh, Japan's Suicide Forest. I did hear about this. Yes. (laughs) And so they're in Suicide Forest. They come across a body and they make a video of it. They they post the video and everything. They blur their face out because I've seen, because people did repost the video, so I did watch it myself. Um, But it was like a body that was hanging there. And... I mean, they, they recorded. They still made a vlog about it. They did it. They edited the video. And oh my God, if you're sad, the, hit like. Yeah, and it comment, was that all sort that of bullshit. Thing where if you're sad, like I am, bro, hit like, bro. Yeah, like, they talked about that at the end. You know, the suicide hotline, and I was serious and things like that. And. I don't know. I mean, it's also hard, especially the still they use because he was rocking around in that effing Toy Story. He was wearing the alien hat with three eyes, the claw aliens. So he's wearing this in the video. That's the still everybody uses. Okay. It's like, he's so, using, wearing the Toy yeah. Story hat and it's like the dead body video. So with that said, now that we all touched up, mm-hmm. what what does this mean? Like, is this kind of like a, a sign of the times type of thing? Where, what, what's, I, I want to know what's your take on this. Banter. Listen, um, with internet, came a lot of knowledge and all that, but for some reason, man, respect has just gone out the window. I mean, we all know about Suicide Forest. We, we know yeah. about it. There's been some movies about it, but that is a sacred place. That is a sacred place where um, people have committed suicide and all that stuff, and I've heard when you walk through it's very haunting. It's very, it gives you reflection. I heard, it's, and, um, I heard a part of why people do it there is like, it's so dense that if you like you get to a certain point it's so dense with the trees that there's no wind blowing Mm -hmm. like that's how dense it is with trees like wind doesn't even go through the actual forest Mm -hmm. right and um for me like that's hollowed ground you know we've all been in dark places we've all been in places where um well at least for me you know where i thought man i don't know if i can take another breath you know so for me it's it's a when I go there, it's it's respect for those people who who gave up and um, and and to post a video of someone's brother, sister, mm-hmm. family member, right. husband, wife, daughter, son, what, whatever the the case may be, is just asinine. And, and, and I'm sure there are excuses. Of, well, you know, we did it because we we wanted to, to bring awareness. Yeah, yeah. You can bring awareness to that and totally different ways i mean that right. that place in, it had to be in a blog basically. they could have just cut that part out and talked about like right. this, this is what i saw yeah, yeah. right and but that's the thing like there's a reason there's not a lot of video of suicide forest there's a re because it is it is going to come out weird but it's like the pioneers of a place where um people have given up and and you can really use that for reflection and, and to try to decide on 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 what you want to do and what and, you know, it's it's a lot of people. I mean, yeah. it's it's a place it's, that people I mean, go. It's called that for yeah. Yeah, for and a real so reason. you know, you have to respect that, and that's just asinine. Yeah. And not even to be like in a suit or pay respect to the people who are dead in that area. Like I think when just, I watched the video, they were gonna camp there. That was what they were doing. Yeah. And I think people may do that. I mean, people go there because it's still yeah. a forest. Because, like I mentioned, like the density of the trees, like it is still a thing. Right, you and go it's to see it's forest, actually but, on. Um, my morbid bucket list, like something that I want to go see and, and, and experience and and everything. So like, I understand that part of it. Yeah. I, I get wanting to go there and reflect or, or go there and see it because of what it is. But to vlog about it and, uh, you know, like it just leads you into that there's no privacy anymore. I mean, yeah. you know, even in uh, death, Instagram, there's, yeah, there's and Instagram just... and all that stuff, you know, when um, someone gets signed to a new record or whatever, you know, like the beats thing with the apple it leaked because a video was made about how much money you know like the day before or something you know so like there's just no like people just don't think anymore people don't have respect for how things 
should work or, or need to work in my opinion. So True. I just, it, it's just awful. It's awful. And, and you know, to me, the most disturbing thing to me about this video, because I know it's a lot of people that got heated over it. Mm -hmm. I was talking to a coworker earlier who said when she first found out about it, like she really got heated. Um, but what really kind of kind of spoke to me about this man, and, and I just want to have a brief conversation about it is, all right, one of the things I seen, which was really disturbing just besides the video and the context of the video yeah was one of logan paul's fans got on youtube and said these words so this is this is the mind of a logan paul fan and this was like i said this is the most disturbing thing about it mm -hmm. he basically got online and said hey the dead guy should be happy using logan paul's video I wish I was that dead guy. I would do what that dead guy have done if you told me I was gonna be in Logan Paul's video. Do you know the views that you're gonna, you know what I'm saying? So that he was using that logic. So that just lets you know, cause I can look at it like an adult and say, okay, this is a dumb motherfucker. I don't care, if, I don't give a fuck that this news, fuck him. Let him go away. That's kind of my whole thing yeah. with shit. But when I hear a kid say that, and then I realize he, most of his There's following people, is kids. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So It's the sort of thing where, well, it's just there, and then when something like this happens, that's when you notice the influence. Have, have you noticed, um, I know, I think we mentioned it before, and I know we've had the conversation about the series, but Black Mirror, mm -hmm. um, they have an episode that's about, like, Facebook and that kind of stuff, about oh, a girl who's, like, obsessed with, like, oh, I've seen that, that stuff. I've seen that episode, too. And, good. you know, when I first watched it, I was like, man, we're really close to that, but I think we're we're there. No, we're there. Yeah. You know, where where you're validated by by strangers, yeah. not mm -hmm. just you know. I mean, one of the best moments I had um, over the holiday season was my uh, grandparents on my uh, my mom's dad and uh, stepmom. You know, validating me as a man and, and appreciating where I'm coming from, and they mm -hmm. sent a really sweet. Uh, a letter and, and all this stuff for the holidays and for me that was validation because um, you know we, we've had our uh, struggles with each other in the past and our differences and and all that stuff but for them to be proud of me was pretty awesome and a stranger on an internet's never gonna give me that same satisfaction I just don't maybe I'm older maybe I just don't understand it I choose to be out of social media we've talked about that so I just don't know if I just don't have the capacity to understand, but like, I just don't get it. And I mean, it, it disturbs me when people are like posting videos of murdering somebody or robbing someone or doing this stuff and they're still famous after it and they still get talked about and they still um, are seen in the slide as, uh, you know, oh, well, they, look how many views they got, yeah. you know? And the people, the websites and all that reward you for that yeah. by ad time and, mm -hmm you know being paid for that stuff and it's yeah, just you know, it's, it's sad it's, it's scary yeah it's funny because with the logan paul stuff I, I was looking at uh keem star on drama alert and he was mm -hmm. kind of making mention about how he kind of feels that youtube is sort of because he feels and a lot i think a lot of people feel like youtube really really backs the paul brothers just they based like anyone on, who's big immediately. yeah just based on the type of views that they get because yeah. i think they never took down uh they never took down logan paul's video but i think PewDiePie, he took it down. They never yeah, took it down. Yeah. PewDiePie did a video about that. They took his video down. Mm. So that, you know, that kind of just yeah. lets you see some stuff. But yeah, I want to stick on it. I don't want to stick on this for too long. I want to end it with, fuck you, Logan Paul. Fuck <laughs> both the Paul brothers. And you know, why don't you go kill your motherfucking self? Well, don't wish that upon anybody. No, no, but no. no. The, the Pauls, they can do it. It'll be <laughs> a better place. <laughs> what did that say? <laughs>